today I will share a discovery about good and bad habits. I'll describe how both good and bad habits can take over your brain. Ready to begin? I'll start by sharing new scientific findings about how habits, both good and bad, actually change the structure of your brain. Before I get into this, let's get more familiar with the brain. This will help you understand how the brain actually changes shape when new habits develop. When people think about the brain, they usually picture this wrinkled gray area, the outer layer of the brain. But the brain actually consists of three parts. The top or upper brain is called the cerebral cortex. This is where most high-level thinking occurs. Then there's the middle brain, also called the limbic system. This deals with learning, memory, and emotion. And finally, the lower brain, the cerebellum, your autopilot system and the brainstem that regulates our arousal and alertness, things like breathing, digesting food, sleeping, and maintain it at a healthy body temperature. Knowing these three will help you understand what happens to your brain when habits take over. When the brain is functioning well, all parts work in harmony. Your brain tells your muscles to move, keeps your heart beating, allows your lungs to breathe. It lets you feel sadness from heartache, elation from finding a long lost friend, and anxiety before a job interview. It allows you to learn new things and avoid danger. This three pound wrinkling mass in your head houses the most complex computer ever built. And inside this master control panel are billions of microscopic cells called neurons that send electrical chemical messages to your body. At birth, a few of these neurons are wired together. As we age, more pathways in the brain, neural pathways, develop, and they control everything we think, we feel, we say, and do. We create these neural pathways for riding a bike, eating a meal, typing on a computer, talking on the phone, driving a car, or reading a book, absolutely everything. We also create these neural circuits around bad habits, habits like gambling, excessive shopping, eating too much food, internet addiction, alcohol, and nicotine. So good and bad habits change your brain. They change the way the neurons in the brain communicate with one another. The result is that the three brain areas no longer work in harmony. Communication is disrupted. The upper part of the brain no longer communicates with the two lower parts of the brain. Initially, drinking alcohol may make us feel good because it activates the middle brain's pleasure-reward neural circuit. While we drink, this pathway is activated again and again. Over time, the pleasure-reward circuit gets very strong, driving us to think, I must have it now. As the pleasure-reward gets strong, we begin to think less and react more. We feel strongly compelled to seek what we desire without much thought. We don't think about the consequences. Our long-time term goals lose their appeal. The lower brain is not passive during all of this either. Remember, <clears throat> the lower brain is our autopilot system. It saves the brain's energy for doing important mental activities like problem solving, planning, and deciding on a course of action. In order to do these things, the brain needs energy. <clears throat> Representing only 2% of the weight of the adult, 
The brain consumes 20% of the energy produced by the body. Our mental activity affects the brain's consumption of energy. Enter the lower brain. The lower brain takes over the more mundane tasks, allowing them to happen with a low energy cost. The brain is constantly looking for ways to save effort or energy. One way the brain does this is to create automatic routines or habits for activities that we often do, such as driving a car, walking down the stairs, throwing a baseball, brushing our teeth, in order to free our mental capacity to do more important things. So, what exactly is this habit I'm talking about? A habit is a neural pathway that is automatic. It happens without thinking about it. We have thousands of habits. Behaviors like brushing our teeth, riding a bike, driving a car, tying our shoes. Habits are learned through constant repetition. A habit is like a well-worn path in the woods. Imagine you're hiking the woods on a heavily traveled trail. It doesn't take much work to stay on the trail. The way forward is really clear. Habits are like familiar trails. Habits are generally helpful because they free up the brain to focus on more difficult tasks. Healthy habits help us stick with healthy behaviors like exercising, choosing healthy meals, and getting enough sleep. However, we can also form habits that are unhealthy too, like eating junk food, watching too much TV, smoking, or drinking too much alcohol. Imagine, you have a favorite place you like to visit along a creek in the woods. At first, it is difficult to get to because there's no path. You go to visit the creek every day and soon you create a new path that makes it easier to reach the creek. That's how new habits, both good and bad, are formed. For example, you may stop at a bar with friends to have one drink after work. With repetition, a new habit trail is developing. Like the feeling? If so, the reward, in this case the drink, tells the brain that this new path is worth traveling down in the future. Feel a sense of warmth and belonging when you are drinking with your friends? And maybe all the stresses of the day just seem to melt away. If so, the reward, in this case the drink, plus a sense of warmth or a reduction of stress, tells the brain that this path is worth traveling down in the future. On the other hand, you might develop the habit of stopping at the gym on the way home because you value being healthy and want to live a healthy lifestyle. Feel energized after exercising? Feel a sense of accomplishment? Once again, the reward, feeling energized and or a sense of accomplishment, tells the brain that this path is worth traveling down in the future. My goal is to help you develop new, healthier habits, to blaze new trails in the woods. Future videos will explore further the topic of developing healthy habits while breaking the bad ones. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.